Hey! This is it. Quick Effects. You're watching Quick Effects, the web series where we learn fast, fun filmmaking effects, props, do-it-yourself projects, and everything else in between. And today we're going to talk about something a little different. We're talking about planning and procrastination. I really didn't want to talk about procrastination. I was going to do it, like, later. Like, tomorrow. But technically, today is yesterday's tomorrow. Which means tomorrow, today will be yesterday. So we're technically ahead of the game, right? Planning and procrastination seems like an odd topic to talk about in a filmmaking web series, but actually it isn't, it's perfect. You know why? Because planning and procrastinating can affect whether or not you finish your project. It, it'll affect whether or not you even start the project to begin with. And what better way to learn than by my bad mistakes of what not to do. So recently I completed a contest entry video for the B&H unboxing competition. This was a little contest that B&H Photo is running. It ran for a couple months and I waited to start my project. Uh, most of that waiting was procrastination. Some of it was planning. Um, but how long do you think I waited? Yeah, I waited until four hours before the contest was done to start my video. Okay, the story's getting good now. So check this out. I'm gonna shoot the video. Let's do this. Concept was simple. I walk into a room with a little B&H photo box, okay? Pull out the box, open it up, pull out all this cool gear. And the effect was real simple. It was a quick effect effect. Basically, one box had a hole in it, the other one didn't. And through the magics of editing, looks like I'm endlessly pulling out all these goodies out of the box. That was cool. I uploaded the video, some of you saw it and you caught some of the mistakes I made. That would account for the fact that I was rushing to get this thing finished, but good eye anyways. Look at this. I didn't account for the fact that when I upload this to the B&H contest thing, I need time to do that. The clock's ticking. Midnight hits. I tried to submit the video. I missed it. I'm not joking. Yeah. I missed it. It was midnight 15. The contest was over. It automatically went to the next part, part two, which was view all the entries. And at first I'm like, no! I'm like, why did I yell like that? That's the best yell I got, right? That's the first thing I'm thinking, right? Yeah, then I thought, wait a second. This isn't total loss. I learned a huge lesson. Stop procrastinating. What better way to fight procrastination than to plan? Andrew over at Accuracy Films is going to show us how he does his thing. Let's check it out. Hello, my name is Andrew Chandler from youtube.com slash Accuracy Films. Today I'll be discussing how I plan and storyboard my short films here on YouTube. When I plan my videos, I usually start with what most filmmakers like to call throwing up on the page. It's basically where you sit down with one idea in mind and begin to branch off of that idea. Now the reason we like to call it throwing up on the page is because when you have a great idea, that idea leads to the next, which leads to another, and so on and so forth. Now the problem is that you have this great plan, but it's very sloppy and unorganized because during this chain of ideas, there's no room for writing neat. If you waste your time trying to make it pretty, you're going to lose all of these great thoughts that would have come to you. Trust me, when I'm writing a script, my mind is racing like 10,000 miles an hour, and you're going to want to get as many of those ideas as you possibly can on that page. There's always room for adding and subtracting things later. Once you're done throwing up on the page, you can go back and make it nice and neat for everyone who is acting to see. I rarely do this because it's usually me and my brother making the video and we discuss the ideas together so we're on the same track. So as you may or may not be able to see here on this throw up storyboard that I made for my latest video, Infamous 3 Son of Coal, I've just taken some small notes. Then I went back and drew it neatly on this piece of paper with a sharpie and drew out the preview panel like you see in After Effects. I drew where the icons need to be located. Then I went over here and took some storyboard notes on like when he has the electricity in his hand um, that the camera zooms out very quickly and I took some notes down here, pick stuff up and throw it, hands glow with slight electricity on body, explosion when thrown. <laughs> For those of you who are wondering how I go about storyboarding, I rarely ever storyboard my videos, but I do use a lot of descriptive words 
to explain where my camera is located, lighting, color correction, props, etc. Take a look at this illustration. I break my camera angles down like this. If the circle in the center is your subject, then you have a front, back, side left, side right, front left 45 degree angle, front right 45 degree angle, back left 45 degree angle, and back right 45 degree angle. This allows me to write my camera angles under each scene. I find it a lot faster than drawing a storyboard. For example, here's a segment of the script to a fake movie trailer we created entitled Troll. The red text is all of my camera angles, movement, and notes that I needed in order to film the scenes correctly. Watch this segment of the trailer and see if you can follow along. I feel like I'm being watched. Bye. One thing I've learned during my four years of filmmaking is that you don't have to own expensive things like storyboard and scripting programs to make great films. If you are the one writing, filming, and editing the video and you're not writing for another production company or person, then you have the idea in your mind and know what you want it to look like. So try not to worry about how neat or professional the script or storyboard looks, but focus on how well you execute the final product, and more importantly, if you even execute a final product. So there you go, that was a really cool insight from Andrew over at Accuracy Films. Check out his YouTube channel, he's got a lot of cool little short films, VFX tests, and tutorials, really cool stuff. Oh, there was one more thing while you were gone watching that little video. I was checking my email, and I got an email from b and I am not joking. They extended the contest entry. Yahoo! Why did I, what was that? That is the worst way to celebrate. Oh yeah! All right, just bring it down a notch. Just everyone just calm down. Whew, I'm super excited. So the video got into the contest. Now it just needs to go through its phases. Hopefully it makes it into the, the judging and all that. That's crazy. It kind of defeats the purpose of this episode, but definitely I'm from now on I'm planning because this stuff never happens. Anyways, you're watching Quick Effects, Nop Top. Thanks for watching. Check out Accuracy Films YouTube channel. Go make something. Missed that one, missed that one, hang on. Ah, boy! A little too excited on that one. Just in case you're not aware of it, I do set up lighting. There's like three point lighting going on here. There's that, and there's that. So this is what, this, ow, ow, ow. This is what it would look like if I didn't light it, okay? Light your videos, people. The aftermath of a last minute project. Oh, I gotta clean this place up. Hey, check it out. The light stand, I use that thing all the time. Check out the tutorial if you haven't already. It's totally don't, worth don't it. Don't procrastinate, don't procrastinate. Do it, go make something. Quick effects, knock, top. Boom, 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 boom.